Hey guys, it's me as you can see and I'm back with my first installment of FYI Fridays. FYI Fridays is a series that I decided to start because in order to answer you all's burning questions regarding natural hair, I get so many questions, whether it be in comments or personal questions regarding natural hair. And although I don't mind answering them, um, a lot of times I just feel that my answers um, require a lot of detail. And sometimes when I'm responding, I just feel that I can't say everything that I want to say or put in all the information that I want to put in without it becoming this long book. So I thought it would be best if I just answer your questions in video form and then I can just refer you to that video and I can be a little bit more detailed than I would be able to in a personal message or in the comment section. I just want to get into it straight away. Um, I received a series of questions from a lovely subscriber. Her name is Nika Looney. I'm just going to put her name right here. Hopefully, Nika, I'm saying your name correctly. Um, if not, I'm really sorry. Uh, she's a lovely subscriber. She's actually a new subscriber. I've been talking to her back and forth a little bit in the comment section. And um, yeah, and I told her that I would answer her questions here um, and have her be my first FYI Friday video. She just said, you know, I, I just started watching your videos and you're probably going to see me comment a lot, especially if I have a lot of questions. Um, but I just wanted to know, what does co-wash mean? Where do I buy extra virgin olive oil? Um, does shea butter make your hair stick together? Um, and in, where do you buy the oils that you put into your shea butter mix? And lastly, do I have to wash my hair every week um, after styling it? Uh, Co-washing, it, it just is short for conditioner washing. Conditioner washing is just basically washing your hair with conditioner. Um, as you know, we typically cleanse our hair with shampoo, um, but a lot of times shampoos can be very stripping on the hair, especially if you use shampoos that contain harmful detergents such as sulfates. What conditioning washing does, or co-washing, it helps to moisturize the hair. It's a bit more gentle on the hair. And it gets the hair clean without stripping the hair of all of its natural oils. That is what co-washing means, and that is what co-washing is. But honestly, I get my extra virgin olive oil at my local supermarket. Um, you can also find it, if you don't have it at your local supermarket, which I don't see why you wouldn't, um, you can also go to a specialty market such as Whole Foods or Trader Joe's, but you should be able to find it at your local supermarket. And just a little tip, when you're looking for extra virgin olive oil, always make sure that it is extra virgin and that um, on the label it says that it's cold, cold expeller pressed. And I will put that right here. Um, but you wanna look for cold expeller pressed um, because that means that the oil that you're getting is gonna have the most nutrients in it and it's gonna be a lot better for your hair. So that's where I get my olive oil from. There are four, four oils that I really, really, really love to use. I love extra virgin olive oil. I love coconut oil, jojoba oil, as well as sweet almond oil. Those are my four favorite, favorite oils to use in my hair. I, I will rotate them. You know, one time I might use just coconut oil and extra virgin olive oil or I might just use jojoba oil and coconut oil, but those are the oils that I like to use. Now, as far as where I get them from, I've already addressed where I purchase my um, extra virgin olive oil, but my coconut oil, same thing. I purchase my coconut oil at my local supermarket 
or specialty market. As far as the other oils that I use, uh, jojoba oil and uh, sweet almond oil, I have found those oils at uh, Whole Foods, Trader Joe's. You can buy you can buy them at Vitamin Shop. Um, but if you don't have those stores in your area, um, you can also go online. Um, I've purchased my oils online at Amazon.com. Um, I personally prefer the Now brand in OW. Um, they're really good and um, they're in the purest form that you can get your oils in. So that's where I get my oils from that I use in my shea butter mix. Shea butter is a hard oil, meaning that it's a solid oil. Um, it's not loose like a jojoba oil or almond oil or olive oil. Um, it's a hard oil. Um, so it's very thick um, in consistency, um, but it what happens is when it comes in contact with heat, it melts. When I use my shea butter mix um, in my hair, I don't I only have to use the smallest amount because it is full of oil because shea butter as the main ingredient is oil and then I'm adding other oils, but I only add those other oils in order to um, make the shea butter more smooth. Um, so to answer your question, no. Uh, the shea butter does not cause my hair to stick together, but I think that it could possibly do that if you use too much. So definitely you don't want to use too much of the oil. Okay. I wasn't really sure where you were going with this question um, because I would normally say, no, you don't have to. Um, it just depends upon your routine and what you feel comfortable with. Some people wash their hair once a week. Some people wash their hair once every couple of weeks. Some people wash their hair once a month. Now when you say wash, I'm not sure if you mean like co-wash or if you mean like shampoo wash. Um, if you're talking about shampoo wash, I would say maybe you wanna limit your shampoo washing to once a month. Um, because uh, shampoos tend to have a lot of harsh detergents in them and you don't want to strip your hair but as far as my routine goes i do co-wash my hair once a week um to cleanse my hair but if i want to do a deep cleansing of my hair or if i've used a lot of um, heavy butters in my hair and i really want to like restart and refresh my hair then um i will use shampoo in my hair oils butters especially if you use a lot of them or you use highly concentrated oils and butters they get really thick and gunky in your hair and co-washing or washing with conditioner is just not going to help so you do have to get in and shampoo wash i hope that answers your questions nika and if you have any more feel free to um send those to me and i'll answer them in a future video a lot of you may be wondering, how do I get my question featured on a future FYI Friday video? Well, it's simple. Follow me on Instagram and ask your question there and just hashtag it KittyFYI. If you're a bit more on the shy side, you can inbox me here on YouTube and just make sure that you put in the subject line FYI Friday. Or and I'm really excited about this. I just recently created a Facebook page. You can go over to Facebook, which is www.facebook.com slash Kitty So Curly. You can like my Facebook page and you can just post a question. Make sure that you hashtag it Kitty FYI. That's Kitty K-I-T-T-Y F-Y-I. Thank you all so much for watching and supporting and the positivity. I love you all so much. Thank you so much, Nika Looney, for your question. And until next time, create a great day. Bye, guys.